give me a three-digit number. A three-digit number. Three the work all started really back kind of late December, January, where we started to think, okay, we're, we knew we were adopting some new math materials. And so then it was, how can, we, how can we best utilize this opportunity to really infuse some technology into the whole thing? Um, obviously, rolling it out together, there's some positives with the negatives. We're not just learning the new math materials, but we're also learning how to use the technology. Um, but, but really combining those together and saying, okay, we're going to learn to to use these materials with the technology effectively uh, gives us the opportunity to, to use it in one area really well and then start to expand that to our literacy, to our science, to our social studies. Um, and then as we continue to move, it, it's just going to continue to expand. So we've really, we've really been the first ones with, with this technology. When we outfitted our first school, we had the first school that was outfitted. The teacher starts with the engage video. Gets, gets the students into the lesson for the day and gets them, gets them excited about it. Then they jump right into the interactive whiteboard lesson where what's on the student sheet is also being reflected on the board. They're moving objects around, moving counters, multiplying, um, moving a number on a, on a number line. From there, the student gets that, that core instruction, then gets an opportunity to show what they know, their own work. Um, for those students that need some more support, the teacher's possibly pulling them into a small group giving them a little bit more support, getting, getting that core instruction, building it up a little bit. For those that get it uh, and are ready to move on, they're possibly going back with their, with their book and working, working through some problems and then extending their learning, or they're even going on to the HP Revolves and extending their learning digitally. Uh, from there, you know, a, a five to 10 minute station type rotation piece, then those students are getting an opportunity, those that need the support are getting an opportunity to go and work, work independently and do that same work bringing then everybody back together for a quick wrap up, back at the board, doing something interactively, showing, showing that they've understood the, the concepts and the, the core for the day, and then they're moving on. So I personally love having a place to start. So that's one thing I love about the new materials that we have. I really like that they're tied to the core, and then and obviously all of the technology components are really engaging, um, innovative, exciting for our students, and I think you guys could see that they were really interested and in, as soon as you know you let them go up and try, they are so excited. And there's just so much, there's so much more that we haven't even tapped yet into the program that I'm really excited to see as more becomes available through Think Central with HM as they're rolling this new program out, what more they'll have to offer. Uh, the more devices that are in rooms, the more devices that come to school, um, with the students give, a, give us an opportunity to have access to information anytime we want and whatever information we want. So, you know, we could be, we could be talking about how to multiply two numbers together, but there's a million different ways to do it and there's a million different resources. Um, our, our teacher isn't always the only resource. There's a video, there's an interactive tool, there's um, so a, more of a job aid that I could read through online and show me how to do those things and putting all of those Putting all those resources at the students' fingertips gives them the ability to learn and to continue to grow. As this younger generation is coming up, they, you know, to engage them sometimes can be challenging because they are used to seeing this. And so I think as teachers, we have to find a balance. I think it's important for them to still have real books in their hands and for them to still be using pencil and paper to solve problems and to have actual physical manipulative use, not just on the whiteboard. But if using this in coordination with that helps them feel more engaged, helps them feel more successful, more excited about learning than I think that's a great place for us to continue to move towards um, as our students become more and more exposed to this in their everyday lives. There's a resource out there called Smart Exchange where teachers across the world have created social studies lessons, science lessons, Spanish lessons, and we're able to go out, bring those in, customize them to meet our students' needs and our classroom's needs, and then eventually we'll get to the point where we're building our own, where these are some more DMPS specific, this, is, this meets our student needs. Um, but that was a big piece of the purchase as well, was we need the software to go with it. So we have everything that will run. Now it's just a matter of getting it in the teacher's hands and letting them do what they do best. So, and they love doing this. They just think this is so fun. So one of my colleagues, Scott Decker, has designed all these different word work activities for each of our lessons. So then they can just come up here and they can sort the words and it will even check to see if they're right. And then it's all about moving towards blended learning and it's about having 
giving our teachers the opportunity to get student data and react to it and meet those needs instantaneously from when they're learning things. As we continue to move forward with devices and the way curriculum's changing um, and going digital, it's instantaneous. I, I've taught something, I think my students understand it, they re, they'll be able to respond electro, or digitally, electronically, and then I know right away who do I need to pull back and who do I need to cover this with again. We've gone from just getting along technology-wise to ahead of the curve. Um, and there's a learning process in that, and we've got to make adjustments to what we've done in the past. Can't always work the same way, but it's put our, it's put our teachers, our staff, our district, and our students in a much better place.